Welcome back, adventurers. This week, we're diving into something truly mind-blowing. Imagine a yacht with no rigging, no sheets, and no traditional sails, yet it glides effortlessly at wind speed. Introducing the revolutionary design, a sailboat with retractable telescopic masts and inflatable sails, all of which collapse and store neatly at deck height. Could this be the future of sailing, or perhaps the future of sustainable ocean travel? So kick off your shoes and come barefoot with us. So we are here at the Modex stand with Jean. So very nice to meet you. Thanks very much for showing us around. This is an amazing boat. Are you going to tell us all about it? Yeah, sure, for sure. Maybe I can start with a quick story about yeah. the company because we have a, a great DNA around the sailing. Yeah. The company was built in 2008, uh -huh. uh, building a trimarant uh, uh, sailing competition trimarant called the Mod 70. We were work around that uh, for the building, but also creating a competition okay. around the world. Uh -huh. And we have some uh, history around performance. All right. Uh, then we have the great opportunity to work with the Race for Water Foundation, which is a foundation uh, which aim is to protect the ocean from plastic pollution. Okay. And uh, first they did a war tour with one of the Mod 70, uh -huh. and we upset logistically, etc. And then they had uh, the uh, Planet Solar, oh, yeah, yeah. which was uh, the first catamaran solar catamaran to do a world tour, uh -huh. only uh -huh. using solar. Uh -huh. And we helped them to implement hydrogen and a traction kite on board. Okay. And uh, the shipyard was in charge of this energy, okay. renewable energy uh -huh. uh, technical point. Okay. From our history in performance and renewable energy, we decided that we could build uh, the Modex 70, which is uh, the crossroad of performance and renewable energy uh -huh. and new technologies. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that's the history of the company. Okay, and I mean, this boat really stands out from all the other boats because of your sails and your wings. So do you want to tell us how they work? Uh, we have two wings on uh -huh. board. Uh, there are 125 square meters uh -huh. each and then again go up to 23 meters up uh, at reef 16 meters and then fully down. Okay. They can rotate 360 degrees and we have a, like you can see there, there is a wing and then there is a flap uh -huh. and you can adjust to have more lifting. Okay. So that's the concept of the wing. Can you tell us how it goes up? Because I mean, obviously it's collapsed now. Yeah. And so when it collapses, you're like a motorboat. Yeah. And you can go under bridges, which for a sailor is just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so there so is how do they go up? There is a telescopic mast uh -huh. and uh, we inflate uh, the wing. The wing. Okay. So for to have more rigidity and more okay. security okay. around the mast. So it's a, it's a telescopic carbon fiber? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a telescopic okay. mast, carbon mast. Oh, uh, I see, and then, so the telescopic mast goes down through those yeah. circular areas there. Yeah, you can see yeah. them, they're uh -huh. on both sides, uh -huh. and they go Just down. The yeah, yeah, okay. true. And that's allow us to have a big space, uh -huh. because we don't have a, a mast in, in the, the centre, yeah. and yeah. it's on the side. Amazing. What's the weight of the boat? Because this boat also performs well. Uh, it's 32 tonnes. Okay, and uh, it's 70 yeah. feet long. Yeah. 70 feet so, long, 10 meters large. Uh -huh. And you're, you, when you're sailing, it sails at very good speed. So, uh, yeah, we are approximately going with the wind. Uh -huh. So when the wind is up to 15 knots, we are around 13, 12 uh -huh. knots uh -huh. uh, speed. And so the wind, they, they can propel the boat, but they can also uh, create electricity through hydrogenation. We have a pitch propeller that can be reversed. Okay. And so when we are sailing with the wing, it's reversed and it generates electricity to be stuck in the battery park. Beautiful. We have 250 uh, kilowatts of battery park on board. 250. Yeah. 250 kilowatts. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. How much does that weigh? It must be quite heavy. Yeah, it is, but the boat is 30, 32. Yeah. I think I've heard it sells well upwind as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, because of the flap. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, some data. So we had uh, I, the highest we went was 25 knots uh -huh. speed, and uh, with um, 15 uh, knots wind, we were at 15 uh, uh, boat speed. But you're going 15 knots in, 15 knots of wind. Yeah, approximately. Right. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. And when you uh, have the propeller, you sell slower because uh -huh, you're of course, yeah. <gasps> yeah. producing resistance can you tell me with the 
hydro generation working from the propellers, how much power does each propeller generate? The official figures for hydro generation on the Mod X come from real life experience and they have found that the boat generates 3 to 10 kilowatts depending on boat speed. We are also have solar panels, yeah. which is a, we have 70 square meters of solar panels yeah. on board and that can generate uh, up to 15 kilowatt peak. Right. Wow. And just for the record, the motoring distance on their electric engines is 110 nautical miles at 5 knots. So this is 12 hours of motoring with their 250 kilowatts of power. Okay guys, we are deep in the editing cave, editing all the wonderful footage from the Khan show. And Khan, cans, cans, cans. How do you say it anyway? Well, we got an in information from a subscriber saying the S is silent, so thanks very much for that. We had no idea. But is it can? Is it con? Is it cans? Cans? It sounds like it's con. C O N con. Anyway, let us know what you think it is by putting it in the comments below. We'd love to hear your take on it. But what, is, what else is there? Exciting new news. We made a late decision this week, in fact, a couple of days ago, that we will go to the Annapolis show. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so, all you folks out there that are going to be at the show or in the area, we would love love to catch up with you so put the comments below to contact us and let us know because we will try and make that happen for you so that's very exciting it is so hit the subscribe button if you already haven't and if you really like the videos and you get a bit of entertainment out of it or value and also the like button and the notification because when you hit the notification bell that notifies you when we release a new video and there's so many cool things coming up including the grand finale, which is the launching of the Portofino 52. Let's get back to the video, guys. So here is a outside. This is a table that can go up and down and you have a space to have dinner, etc. And you can see the sofa that can adjust so you can have a sun bath on the other side and then it can turn into kind of sure to have dinner. And we have a lot of space there, sun bathing. They are really great. <laughs> uh, it's uh, 54 square meters here. Only in oh, inside. Yeah, here. 54 square meters. And in total, we have 184 uh, square meters on the boat. Like a big house. Like a really big <laughs> house. <laughs> there is four guest cabins. They are the same on both sides. A double bedroom and a two single bed, uh -huh. but they can be put together okay. to have a double bed. Wow. You have a lot of storage on the floor and on the knees too. As you move to the rear, you have a nice spacious vanity with nicely finished carpentry and then a large shower and a toilet on the other side of the corridor. And then it opens into another double cabin. This space can be turned into a lounge yeah. or an office uh, oh, for, yeah. Yeah. for master bedroom, uh, okay. master suits. This is the same on the other side. We just won uh, another prize uh, yesterday. And that's Innovation? Roots Award from the Canyoting Festival. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Thank you. And we were elected Multiol of the Year at the Multiol Show in La Grande Motte. Multiol of the Year. <laughs> and we have another prize. We received the Carbon Positive Award, uh, which is uh, uh, organized by Green Cross. So we have three awards. <laughs> <laughs> and how many boats have been built? Only this one. Only this one, okay. Yeah. This is the first one and uh, will be only owned by the shipyard okay. and used by the shipyard okay. for shorter uh -huh. commercial aspect like uh -huh. the salon. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And also we are doing scientific mission on board. Okay. Uh, we have been in the south of France for a Posidonia mission with the Race for Water Foundation, uh -huh. which is still our partner. Okay. <laughs> and then next week we are going to go with the Exploration de Monaco, okay. which is uh, the NGO of Albert de Monaco. Okay. And uh, they will have multiple scientific missions on board okay. for one okay. month right. in Greece. Wow, you're really breaking new ground. And then we have the kitchen, a big kitchen. This is the uh, dishwasher, fridge. And then you have a crew cabin. This is also uh, a place where you can have, we have the fridge, uh, the washing machine and drying also. Yeah, yeah, it's the same on both sides, yeah. except the uh, captain uh, cabin. Okay. Oh, it's bigger. Yeah, and he has his own office. Okay, nice. And then you can manage everything from there for the wings, the solar system, the hydro generation etc. So for example we are producing 
one <laughs> kilowatt of solar. Here you can manage the wing system. Okay. Uh, you have this uh, small uh, manette lever, yeah. lever to uh, inflate. Oh, okay. You go to 25 up to 100. Uh, you can put the wing up, reef down. Uh, it can be disconnected from each other. You can put one up and on, uh, have one down uh -huh. and all the, way, okay. all the way around. It depends on how you want to sail, uh -huh. if you want to go faster, slower, uh -huh. to generate more electricity, etc. Okay. Because uh, on this boat, you have to um, change the way you use uh, uh -huh. a boat. Uh -huh. uh, you are consuming what you are producing. Uh -huh. So you have to be uh, intelligent, uh -huh. energy intelligent. Okay. And uh, so that's why we have a lot of uh, automatization uh -huh. around that uh, on the boat. Everything is automated. Okay. We, we don't have boot or winch on board. Not a boot, not a winch. There's an electric motor that drives the carbon fiber yeah. masts up. And yeah. then obviously an electric pump. So this is all just general Everything, from here. Wow. Yeah. Did you said one reef point or? Yeah, we are fully up. Yeah. One reef and fully down. Uh, fully down. 23 meters up, fully uh -huh. up, uh -huh. 16 and uh, zero. Okay, so about two thirds. And is the prop that generates the, the regeneration the same prop that drives them? Yeah. It is, okay. It's the same. Yeah. Yeah, we have two uh, 20 kilowatt uh, um, motors, motors uh -huh. but on each side, so 40 on each on side. On each four altogether, four 20s. Yeah. Yeah, okay, great. You've got 70 square meters. Square meters. Uh, and how many kilowatts does it produce, did you say? 15 One kilowatt five. peak. Visa works from the inside and just, just yeah. goes up. It's uh, at the same time. It inflate and, uh, uh, and the and telescopic mass uh, go does. up at okay. the same time. Simultaneous. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I don't know if I said, but there is no fuel on board. No fuel. No fuel. Uh, no fuel on board. One hundred percent electric. Okay. And uh, you have a tender with an electric. Yeah, it's uh, underneath. Okay. Actually, it's interesting because you don't need to store sails. There are no other sails like. On most big boats, you've got this sail and that sail and extra yeah. sails, and it's all contained in those two. They almost look like little boats, actually. But as you can see, we have also sun baths yeah, on the both sides to enjoy fully the boat. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Eight millions. Eight million euros. Yeah. Okay. And we also do charters uh, okay. during summer on the south of France, Sardinia, Corsica. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Roughly, it's uh, forty-five thousand for one week. Yeah, but that's... we also do for four days. Okay. It depends on the okay. clients. There is uh, the four cabins that uh -huh. can be up to uh, eight people, okay. and also there is uh, the captain, uh, a crew, uh, and two crew. One deck, <laughs> yeah, and deck right. end, and uh -huh. one uh, for the cooking uh -huh. and. Uh, the space. When the boat's being manoeuvred, do you have cameras so that the person yeah, here can uh, see the stones? Yeah, there, there are a lot of okay. uh, different cameras. Obviously, this is a very unique boat, and yeah. you've only built one so far. Oh, have you got other ones being ordered? Right now, I mean, no, we have not uh, built uh, the second one, but uh, okay. looking into it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's uh, the first time we are at a canyoting festival. Yeah, yeah. Do you see these wings becoming more commonly used in the yachting community? So uh, the company developing the wing are, is called Aeroforce. Oh, yeah. It's a French uh, company based in Lorient. And they are on the yachting yeah. uh, and also maritime transport. Right. So they are looking for the both. Okay. So for bigger sales for the transport maritime. Okay. And we are their first real project okay. with the wing. Uh -huh. And they will look into uh, the future in the maritime transport. Right, okay. What's the life expectancy of the wings? At least eight years. Eight years, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. But we are still doing some... Testing. Testing. Yeah. That's why we are keeping the boat. Okay. Uh, this boat is a prototype, uh -huh. and that's why it will be owned by the shipyard, yeah. so we can have a lot of testing. Yeah, and uh, you can see how. Yeah. yeah. We have also a fly bridge option okay. available for the other boat. Uh -huh. It's 18 months for the first one okay. and then it will decrease okay. uh, by time okay. to build uh, the second, third, uh -huh. one, etc. So if uh, someone is interested, they can contact us directly uh -huh. through our website, uh -huh. the easiest, and we will uh, do all the commercial part. Okay. Right. And uh, what is impressed me the most is the silence. The silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the silence is uh, incredible. The first time I was on board, 
uh, you don't hear anything if you're on electrical motors. Uh -huh. And even with the wing, there is no, the, um, you know, like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> this kind of noise. <laughs> you don't right. hear that. Clapping or, sales, yeah. Yeah, nice. or you know when they are clicking. Uh, Ropes on the mast, that's yeah, right. We don't, you don't hear that. Uh -huh. It's silence and uh -huh. you are, it's so smooth. Okay. But I was in great condition, but it's so smooth to, okay, do, to well, sail with okay, that. Nice. <laughs> So we've just had a tour of the new Mod X, 70 Mod. foot, totally green, totally fuelless, totally zero carbon emissions, most innovative boat on the market, absolutely. It's worth, if you ever see this at a, a boat show, you have to go have a look. We hope you guys have really enjoyed the tour. We certainly did. Yeah, and, and it really had a little bit mind-blowing because it completely changed the whole concept of masts and shrouds and sails. They have concertina in carbon fiber masts and inflatable plastic sails, so you don't need anything else. I know. That's it. There's all this space up top. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's awesome, and we wish them all the very best. So, guys, let us know if you think this is the future of sailing with retractable masts, inflatable sails, no rigging, no ropes, and masts that retract down to the deck level. Incredible stuff. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode, and thanks to our awesome Patreons whose money helps us save lives around the world. Please make sure you subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss out on any of the exciting upcoming episodes. Hold on to your dreams because like the wind in the sails, they propel you towards endless possibilities.